Hey, man, you know, it was crazy. I was trying to play my music. I was trying to play all the songs and stuff. <laughs> Couldn't even do it. It's all good. Actually, what's your favorite song? We about to start it off real good. What's your favorite song? Shoot, favorite song? Favorite song, right? I don't know. Anything J. Cole. Anything J. Cole? Straight yeah. Up. All right, that's what's up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got to put in, I don't own the rights to this music. <laughs> we, we don't. We don't own the rights to this music. All right, but here we go. Here we go. Post that, and then we're going to pin that. We're going to pin that. All right, bet. Hopefully, they don't mess this up. All right, what's your favorite song? Come on, let's get right. Favorite song? Dang, how did I just forget my favorite song? Shoot, it's off this new album. Uh... Play something poppy for the people. Poppy? Come on, get get come on, get let's get right for the people. Come what on. What do you mean? Let's get right. For, what, what what do we plan? DJ DJ uh DJ Donovan. <laughs> DJ <laughs> J Donovan. DJ J Donovan. Um shoot, bro. Hold on, I literally just Let me see. You want to play like some throwback joints? His new like his newest album, All right. right? And then I don't remember the name of the song. Pick anything. Anything. I don't know. Let's pick his third song on the album. <laughs> his third song on the album? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to look at J. Cole. J. Cole. J. Cole. All right, we're going to get right. Because we got to get the people what they want. Get the people what they want. Get the people what they can't see. You know what? You know what? You talking about uh, the off season, right? Yeah. Off bounds, off season. Oh, my gosh. See, look. <laughs> off bounds. Off season, we was already ready for this. All right, bet. What we, what we gonna do? All right, off balance, off season. Mm. All right, you wanna do a hundred mil? Cause I I believe you are gonna get a hundred mil. Hundred mil? Okay, bet. All right, all right, all right. right. <laughs> you gonna play this for thirty seconds? <laughs> Let it be. All right. This is a, they, what they, they, uh, jacket are you wearing? You said what? You said what jacket am I wearing? What jacket are you wearing? Man, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, I got you. Hold up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I like all I like the fashion you, like stuff, you know? I be lit. I try to do my thing. But look, though. All right, look, that because that song take forever to get, get right. But look, though, we got Jada Donovan. <laughs> On the Off Bounds show, the next series, man, is lit. So excited to have you. I am your host, Deontay Holder. I am the founder and CEO of Law Athlete. And what we really wanted to do, for those who don't know what Off Bounds is, is really give athletes the platform to talk about the things that they love beyond the sport. Being a former athlete myself, you know, we was always in these limelights where people would only talk to us about their sport, but we was always more than just an athlete. So I wanted to give athletes that platform to just really talk about the things that they were interested in beyond that. So super excited to have Jaden Donovan on the show. Five-star athlete, committed to Duke University, played for Team Takeover, the 2026 team, right? Right? 2019, I think. All right, bet. Say no more, gang. Up. Like Boom. Sealwell, Sealwell <laughs> High School, you know what I'm saying, from the Washington, D.C. area. You know, great kid. How, how, what, you get, like, straight A's in school or something like that? Like, God. Shoot, gotta, I wish. A's and B's, A's and B's. A's and B's. Hey, look, man, that's better than me because I was an average student. Okay? All right? I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm not even tripping. But, man, it's super excited to have you on the show, man. First, first, like, how does it feel? Like, you committed to one of the best schools for, for women basketball. Like, how does it feel? to uh be committed to Duke University yeah no I said all the time I think that it's like one of those opportunities I couldn't pass up you know to be able to play for such a great program and great coach but also you know have such like a great academic background as well um I mean I like to be humble like I feel like you know I could have gone anywhere but I think that Duke just like prov like gave me options that I wouldn't have found everywhere else so I mean it's amazing I feel like I made the right decision so I'm That's super excited to go so what did you see when you when you went and you went to go to you know the, what did you see that was like ah oh, man like yeah now nah, I'm going here this sealed the deal for me <laughs> yeah I think what sealed the deal was definitely like Coach Lawson's like I don't know I guess you could say her team she has there like just from like the 
coaching staff to like you know the athletic trainers the, like the person the team masseuse like just like small things like that like she treats the college program like at the pro level which is something I really was like okay like how could I not want to do that like we have like what she calls the agency there and they just have like this great like media program like it's just everything that you want for like to like grow your brand and you know grow as an athlete as well as a person they have everything there so I mean that well, was just definitely like I mean no one else has shown me that so I love yeah. that I love that you was already talking about like growing your personal brand because you know in today's age we got we have a lot of competition as athletes now like you know we got the youtubers the tiktokers you know so the endorsement deals mm -hmm. may not be as much be yeah. competing with a, a, a larger audience of influencers now you know so the fact that you're already thinking about growing your brand is so essential to you know athletes being successful not only in a sport but beyond the game so i'm super excited for all of your future endeavors i can't wait so like a little bit and i know we're gonna, we gonna talk about you know uh the things that you like but i definitely want people to understand who you are as a basketball player like you're a hard-working player you know, I, what's the top top three top three basketball player in the country or something like that? One, one basketball player. Let me make sure I get it right. Yeah, I'm back on something. You. Yeah, back on you. Talk, talk your stuff. Yeah. You know? let me know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't. You know, I, I just want to make sure I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So number three player in the country, humbly. <laughs> um, you know, humbly. I mean, I, I definitely feel like I'm a hard. I feel like I'm a hard worker for sure. Um, you know, I definitely like playing in big games, you know, just having like the crowd, you know. Usually like I mean, having the crowd with you is also great, but like I don't know, something about like being in someone else's gym and just like whooping them there is just like different. So I don't know, hard worker, very competitive. Um yeah. Try to stay humble, you know. Hey, um, and you know what, you know what? Well, that's it's <laughs> like yes, I want you to be humble, but it's like, yo, you worked hard. You work hard to get where you at and you still working hard. So mm -hmm. you know like you know, talk your talk your shit. You know, talk your shit. But understand it like, yeah, yeah you got to be humble, or whatever the case is. But talk your shit. I don't want you to ever like, you know, minimize your energy because you feel like society may, you know, stop you from uh, seeing you seeing yourself as you know something more, right? So like, nah, like you are. You the number right. three athlete in the country. You know, you work hard to get to that position. You wish you was number one. You're striving to be number one. You're going to be number one. You know, and even if you, even if they don't label you as number one, you're number one in your own mind. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're doing that. Straight up. <laughs> All right. Straight up. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And everybody should have that mindset. Everybody should have that mindset. Like, I'm number one because I work hard at it. And whatever society try to label me as, it is what it is. But I know I'm number one because I work hard like this. So, super excited. So, do you have any, like, right. like, like, rituals or or anything like what separated you to like allow you to be like this top athlete yeah um what separated me i always like say that, thing that i guess like helped me get to where i am is like the people i had around me like i feel like every coach i've ever met has like impacted my game on um, like every like my parents have really helped me a lot my family um, the trainers I've met over the years, the coaches that I've talked to, like, at the co collegiate level has also helped me just, like, like, mentally, I guess, in my game. So, I don't know. Right. I think I just, like, kind of was, like, a learner trying to, like, you know, get – And I think I just kind of like, – every person I kind of met throughout my years, and they really helped me get to where I was. That's lit. That's lit. That's lit. So, like, do you stretch every day? Because, you know, some athletes, we don't be stretching like that, you know? And that's why we be getting hurt, you know? Do you stretch every day? Like, like uh, I don't know. Like, what's that one thing that you do that's like, yeah, that's going to make a, a different thing? Oh, I think Oh, like a difference in my game? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Can we, can we hear each other? Uh -oh. we good. <laughs> I, I, you I think me? so. You gave me straight? Yeah, I can hear you. I, can, I got you. I got you. All right, bet. As long as you gave me, we look. Okay, cool. No, no. So you're saying, like, things that, like, I need to do before a game? Yeah, like, because, like, for me, like, okay, cool. Like, I knew one of the things that was really going to separate me as a, as a football player was, you know, obviously just watching film, you know, stretching, 
because those mm -hmm. things that people didn't do, like the things that people really didn't do, taking the time to like stretch, making sure you mobile, flexibility and stuff like that was extremely important. So it was like, okay, for you, what is that one thing that you truly focused on that allowed you to separate yourself from other people? Yeah. Um, I think the like watching the film part, I, I don't watch film, but I guess like, the, like, like listen to feedback from people. Right. Um, like trying to like, like my dad gives me a lot of feedback. <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to listen to it, but sometimes, you know, I like to try to like take away from what they're saying and try to like put that in my game. So, cause like, you know, throughout the years I've heard like, oh, you need to get better at this. You need to get better at that. And I think each year I've been able to like, you know, I guess upgrade my game, you could say, uh, and like try to just add something new. So I think a lot of people, they kind of focus on what they're good at, not to like throw shots or anything, but I think people okay. focus on what they're good at and not like, you know, the things that, People are saying, well, Jaden, like, you need to dribble better. You know, you need to be able to shoot the three better. Like, things like that, for me, right. I think kind of, like, separated me from a lot of other people. So I feel that. I feel that. That's what's up. So it shows that you're coachable. Obviously, you've been a number three athlete in the country and being able to take the criticism from your parents and your peers and apply that into the game obviously allows you to be who you are today. So big ups to you. So Thank you. Now, obviously, now we talked about We got to get the people what they came to see, right? 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 On an off, yeah. nice off-balance show, right? So – can you tell the people some of the things that you're interested in um, outside of the game? Come on, give it to us. Give it to us right now. Okay. Um. Well, I think a lot – some people – the people that know me know that I like Legos. So, you know. You know – Did you did you make your Lego set? First of all, first of all, I, you know what? You know what? Are we, are, we, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Did you even, like, start? First of all – I knew that we was going to have to start a little bit because it was no way that I was going to build the whole Lego set, 256 pieces, well. 256? Yeah, in an hour. So guess okay, what I yeah. did? I bought the Legos. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. That looks tough. Yeah. So this is what we're going to do on the show. We're going to build these Legos <laughs> while we're getting to know each other. That's what we about to do. All we right. to build these Legos. So we're going we gonna to chop it up, man. Have a good little talk. I got uh, Harry Potter with me, you know. And, you know, the crazy part is, I'm going to tell you this, how this is a full circle moment because, obviously, you committed to Duke University, right? For those who mm -hmm. don't know, when you go to Duke University, it literally looks like Hogwarts. It literally looks like <laughs> a Harry Potter movie. So yeah. I decided to say, what better way to get some Legos, Harry Potter, some Harry Potter Legos? That's tough. So, mine, mine is not big at all. What? Well, what did you get? You got? <laughs> How many pieces? Let me, there? let me explain. It's like half of what you got. What I was told was to get a Lego set that wasn't that many pieces in it. Well, you know what? See, when I went to Target, right? <laughs> when I went to Target, that's all they had. They had the little kitty Spider Man version. Spider Man is my favorite character. But it was like literally like mm -hmm. twelve pieces. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this in like <laughs> five seconds. I like, all right, what yeah. are they trying to play me right now? Like, I think yeah. I can build Legos. It was a sign. It was a sign that you needed the twelve piece Legos. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna I'm gonna get to know you a little bit more while we building these Legos. You know, let's go ahead. Okay, and, cool. I'm gonna go ahead. You know, boom. So let's get it. All right, let's get it. I'm going to get my where your Legos at. <laughs> they like they're right here. I've already started. Oh, you let them. You straight. You show. You got to show the people that what you're building. You got to show the people what you're building. You know? Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. What are you part of this? I basically, I basically, uh, I basically already started myself, you know. You got to let people, you got to show the people what we got going on right here. As you can oh, see. Oh, snap. Come on now. Well, that's tough. Okay, that's tough. You that's kind of big. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this, watch this. That okay, you can actually build Legos. Wow, come on, stop playing me. I told you, I, I don't know why they keep trying to compete with me. But it's my thing, though. So, all right, baby, I just I just didn't know if you could do it or not. All right, let's go. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. So, about to go ahead and build these Legos. What we got to give you a, a, a Lego nickname. A Lego nickname. <laughs> What's a Lego nickname? Uh. Lego J. Lego J? Ooh. Lego J. Okay. 
Yeah. That sounds tough. That's kind of, that sounds kind of tough. Lego J, <laughs> DJ J Donovan. <laughs> what else? What's another good nickname? And we haven't talked about anything else yet. So All right, bet. I'm it has to come. It has we to got, come with the. We got Lego J. We got DJ J John. Jay Donovan, boom. All right, bet. So let's yeah. get it. All right, as we build these Legos, what, what you showing the people? Show your people the box. Let me see the box again. It's Iron Man because I'm a Avengers fan. You a Avengers fan? All right, Iron Man is your favorite character? No, I don't really have a favorite character. Um, I mean, I like Captain the, Marvel. You like Thanos? I mean, I don't like him because he's like, you know, a villain. True, but villains be making the movies oh. popping. I know, but, like, he killed, like, Black Widow. Like, that's kind of wild. That is kind of wild. That's kind of wicked. Exactly. So, all right, so you don't have a favorite character, but you just love the Marvel movies. Series. And I'm, yeah. Spider-Man is my... Look, my dog just ran in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, doggy, come on. Come here. Look. Say hi to Jada. <laughs> Say hi to Jada. How... Well, what, what's his... Uh, what's, what's it's his a name? girl. Her name is Cardi. Her, sorry. Yeah, Cardi? Yeah, yeah Cardi. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, leave me alone. Bye. <laughs> All right, boom. Let's get it. All right, so look, who your favorite person in the world? Favorite person in the world? Uh, I'm getting in trouble. Um, can I say two? Sure, big two. I don't want you to have no beef. I don't want no problems because we, yeah, know, exactly, we exactly. know how people like to tussle. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want no problems. I'm going to say they're my siblings. All right, your siblings. All right, my why? younger siblings. Why you say that? Why? Um, because, I don't know, they just kind of, like, they're, like, my little best friends, um, I guess you could say. But my sister, what, is she 15? And I, my little brother, he's, like, nine? He's pretty young. Oh, yeah? And he's very, very sweet. Yeah, he's a mama's boy. And, I don't know, they just kind of make my day whenever I come home, whenever I'm home, because, you know, I'm usually busy playing basketball and stuff. But very supportive of me and my goals and stuff. I like that. I like that. I like that. Do they? Do they ever? Do you? Do they? Do they ever be annoying you sometimes? Oh, a hundred percent. Absolutely, every day. What's but the most annoying? It, it outweighs the most annoying thing. Well, my little brother, as I was saying, he's a mama's boy, so he's very touchy, and he doesn't know personal space. So, ah. like, he's always up in my grill, just trying to talk to me and stuff. My little sister, I don't know what does she do. <laughs> uh, I don't. She's just a little mean sometimes. So. She be mean. What she do? Like yeah, she... throw food at you or something? No, you just need, you know how, you have, you have siblings. You know what? I don't. But I got this cousin, right? That's literally upstairs. I swear on everything. I swear on everything. She's like the little sister that I never had because she won't always be in my business. Okay, all right. God, goodness gracious. But no, go ahead. Yeah. So... No, no. I was just saying that. Like she just she just mean. Like I don't know. Like I'm the nice sister, and then she's the mean sister. So, okay, being nice is very yeah. subjective. We don't know what nice really is. Like, how where, how do you define nice? I'm just saying, like, I'm you know, I'm caring, you know, selfless type of kid. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know. Like, she just doesn't have those. <laughs> like, she does not have the quality, but like, she's definitely like a little bit more like standoffish. Gives you that like mean mug face. Right. Doesn't really smile at people type of kid. So. Jeez. Okay. All right. So she didn't. Find... She, she's cool. People like her, but. She just low mean sometimes. Okay, all right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, like, okay. Who are you most inspired by? Most inspired by? Mm -hmm. um, Who's your inspirational person? You know, it could be family member, celebrity, basketball player, football player, any athlete, don't mm -hmm. matter. Uh, I say most inspirational. My parents probably because, like, I don't know. They do a lot. For my siblings and I, and like especially for me, like I'm literally I'd probably take out half of their money <laughs> just playing basketball. And I don't know, they're very supportive of me, just like my siblings are. But like I know they also sacrifice a lot, which I try to do for my younger siblings. Right. Um, they give a lot. Um. So I probably say they're the most inspiration. They work really hard. My dad works like crazy. I mean, they're both sick right now, and you know they're still like working. You know. Um. So. I don't know, they just, like, do a lot of the extra hard stuff that people usually wouldn't want to do, people don't have to do. But, um, you know, I try to be like that, especially when I play basketball, just trying to, like, do the extra work. Right. Um, 
sacrifice and stuff like that. So. You know, I'm glad that you said that because for me, my mom is definitely like one of my most like inspirational people. So somebody that I'm really ins inspired by because I've mm -hmm. been able to see her do so many different things, not necessarily by herself, but I've been able to see her just go through so many different trials and tribulations and still come out on top. You know, right. and so she got like that hustler mindset that I always want to embed into my mind, yeah. embed into my kids' mind, X, Y, and Z, just never giving up, you know, like, mm -hmm. giving up. so, you know, kudos to her, you know, big shout out to her, even if she, if she watching on that, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, she, she's definitely that person for me. So, you know, you know, the parents, yeah, having, having really good supportive parents can definitely give you a leg up on all of the things that you want to do. Right. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Hold on. My Legos, I think. Are you getting stuck already? I, I think I'm getting stuck on the Legos. <laughs> I think, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They gave me a rat. We don't even like rats. Hold a up. rat? We don't even like rats. Hold up, cook. <laughs> all right. Let me see. Apparently, they're supposed to be fighting over this little ass book right here. I don't... So what's the big thing then? The big thing is the book. That's what I'm saying. So you got two books? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Big look, big book, small book, little book, all that good stuff. Got gotcha. you. You feel what I'm saying? Two more. The body. All right. Who that? Megatron? No. That... <laughs> this is Iron Man. This is his like chest. I ain't gonna lie. That look like a transformer. I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. Just hold on. All right. Let me okay. finish first. All right. How far, how far along you got? Because I think I'm about to beat you. Definitely not. I have, like, literally probably 50 pieces left. <laughs> you got 50 pieces left? Yo. I, got I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I got, like, 10 pieces left, probably. I got, like, 10 pieces. You're not hold beating on, Hold me. on. I need to lock in. I need to lock in. Hold on. All right. We got to lock in. <laughs> now, we got to we gotta get the people what you want. You got to be able to do double. No, you yeah. I, 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 I am. I am. I am. But. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, so obviously when you get to school, right, actually you don't got to tell uh -huh. people your plans. You don't got to tell people your plans. You don't never tell them your next move, you know? Right. Huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. But you already been talking about, I mean, if you want to, you can. So you already been talking about, you know, helping with your personal brand. So when you get to school, right, what's some of the things that you really want to tap into, um, outside of basketball? Um, ooh, that's a good question. You mean like when I get to Duke? Yeah, when you get to Duke. I mean, unless you're going to another school, you're going to a community college too. Yeah, actually, I'm rolling the believe. You know what's crazy? I actually did that. No, like, no funny. Like, I, I was at NC State, but I took uh -huh. classes at a community college so I can graduate early. Oh, really? They didn't even know you could do that. See, I just gave you a whole gym right there. <laughs> I just Wait, why'd you want to graduate early? All right, so I'm going I'm to give you the spill. I'm going to give you the rundown. So... Before all of this NIL stuff, right, I always knew if I graduated early, there was nothing that they can technically do to me because I got my degree. You feel what I'm saying? So my goal was, I told my mom, I said, all right, look, I'm going to graduate early. I'm going to get my degree. And if I need to transfer, I can go anywhere I want to go for two years because right. I, I redshirted. So I was like, all right, uh -huh. bad. If I graduate in three years, I got two years to play somewhere else and be, be straight. So... That's exactly what I did. Ended up getting a six year, so I ended up being in school for three more years after that. Oh, but snap. I was able to get a bunch of different degrees and all of that other stuff. So when mm -hmm. I was in school, I was like, look, I'm going to get this degree. I'm going to join a fraternity. I'm going to start businesses. Like, I'm going to do all of that while still being an athlete, working hard. Because I understand right. that, like, when I'm done playing, it's going to be hard for me to transition into that business person, like, for people to see mm -hmm. me as that. So I need people to see me as that before I even leave college. Like, I want them to see me as, like, no, this is a really great athlete, but this is also a really great person that has their own business and, you know, X, Y, and Z. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Got you. Like, you got that mentality going in. Like, how can I brand myself in a way that it's like, yes, I'm a great basketball player, and I'm really giving back mm -hmm. to Duke University, but then I'm also allowing Duke University to give me a platform that allows me to be successful beyond the game. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, right. they're going to be using you, so you got to use them. <laughs> that is true. Duke is a great place to use. 
A hundred percent. It's Duke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You and look, look, I don't mean no harm when I say this, but use them. They using you. You are gonna be yeah. using your blood, sweat, and tears. You're gonna do a thousand <laughs> suicides by the uh. by the second the, the middle of your season. You might as well <laughs> middle of the season. Would you would you like to be honest, like if you run it, you doing all of this working out and all of this stuff, like and you mm -hmm. put all this work in to get what? Just your degree? You supposed to get that. Right. Yeah. You don't get that no pat. Oh, you do get a pat on your back for getting your degree. Yes. Yeah, but a little like, handshake. You get a little handshake. <laughs> like, what's the dude when you walk up to the podium? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all you got. Yeah. You supposed to like you got to get something more than that, man. Like you helping this, you know, you helping this institution make millions of dollars, billions of dollars. So like, you know, at least try to figure out how you can be more than just uh, the sport that you play, right? Because once you leave, it's gonna be the next person up. Yep. But still, yeah, I had not thought about that. Right, but still work hard in your sport, though. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't ever want you to get so devoted into, uh, like, oh, let me work on my personal brand that you forgetting all of the football, like the not football. I'm sorry, the basketball stuff that's important. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Because like the basketball yeah. aspect is what's helping you get all of this stuff. So don't lose that. Don't lose sight of that. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, that's it. You're gonna be lit. You gonna be lit. <laughs> so, so do you want to have like a clothing brand or something like that? Oh, uh, you know, a lot of athletes they be starting with the clothing brands. It's like the easiest thing to do. I don't know. They don't. They, the clothes just don't be looking right to me. You There's some really good clothing brands out there. Okay, so, okay, okay. So athletes. you got style. You got style. Um, I think so. You know, I just need some more money. That's the problem. You know, yeah. we all do. <laughs> yeah, that's really the issue. We all um, need that bread. No, but I really do like clothes. I've never thought about making a brand, though. Mm. Making a clothing brand. I think that's... I don't know. I probably just like wearing the clothes more than I like, like, designing them. You know what? But, I feel the same way. Yeah. I just feel like it's a lot of work. And people just... I don't know. It's hard to get your clothing brand off the ground, too. I feel like. So. Yes, it is. It's yeah. very hard. And then you I got some people... They, they want to uh, charge $100 for a Gildan t-shirt. What? See, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's hundred percent ridiculous. I, I, I swear I don't understand why they do that. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I wonder, do anybody in the stands? Do they got any questions? Maybe they, they maybe they got some questions for you. I don't know. You know, why we, why we building these Legos? And I'm letting y'all know. First, see, I let, I, I let you get, I let you get me off my track, yo. I let you get me off my track. <laughs> Because now I'm behind. How many pieces do you exactly. got? Exactly. It don't matter. It don't matter. It do matter. Sure. It does matter. You can't. No, you can't beat me. What? Can't be beat. That's why you're worried about how many Lego pieces I have left. Because I'm a competitor. You're right. Exactly. Exactly. So you just need to stay in your lane, though. You got to, you know, you got a tunnel vision. Okay. All you right. Can't, you can't school be moving over here. Okay. School. <laughs> okay. Because it's okay because the masterpiece is going to tell it all. The masterpiece. The masterpiece. I mean, we're going to see. We gonna we gonna definitely see. We gonna definitely see. We gonna definitely see. Exactly. Now, a question: Like, what was the hardest thing that you faced with thus far? What was the hardest thing that you feel like you faced in life that you you know that you really overcame? Um. Uh, hardest yeah, thing I'm coming okay. with the questions now. You know I'm new to no, this, right? For real. I don't do this. I'm not really like no news reporter. This is I'm just off of pure passion. <laughs> um, going to my junior year, I had some family stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that was definitely a tough time. Like just like trying to stay focused with school and basketball while like um also doing things at home right. um so i don't know i think that a lot of times i kind of got like you could say um and not like focused on the things that i guess were important at the time um i don't know but i think i definitely overcame i think basketball really helped me because like last year we had a great season like i mean my teammates were like amazing like you know like they didn't know anything that was going on with me at home but like they still were able to like 
just like support me and like just be like my bigger sisters, little sisters. It's my sister's period, you know, um, through it all. Right. So yeah, I definitely say that last year, like during the summer ish time, it was like one of the hardest like times of my life, just like mentally, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, my basketball like family helped me out. My my family at home helped me out through it. Um, yeah. I like that. I like that. So what are some of your like ways to get away, you know, like ways to mm -hmm. really, you know, just decompress, you know, right. super, I know basketball may be one, right. You just said, you know, how mm -hmm. you know, your family, your friends, basketball. Um, do you have anything else that you like to do to like truly like focus on yeah. your health? Um, probably listen to music is one thing. Um, okay. Like, I feel like it's so basic, but like, I don't know, music is it. Like, yeah, no, it's not. It's literally not basic. I don't want you to think that's basic. Like, if music is the thing that helps you, like, get through certain situations, then that's what it is. Like, if music is the thing that helps you, you know, decompress and, you know, take away your stress, then that's what it is, you know? Yeah, so. Playing with Legos. Been... That's what we doing right now. We <laughs> Exactly. Okay? These Legos going to take the stress Ooh. away. So yeah, like I feel like hanging out with friends too. I feel like also I do like being alone, but sometimes you just got to be around people to like make yourself cheer up and not like be too much into your own head. So I say hanging out with like friends and stuff um, helped me a lot. Uh, what else? Since I got my license, driving is you know it's very therapeutic. It is. <laughs> Just driving home. And you know, so. people be complaining. They be like, man, I don't want to drive 30 minutes. I'm like, look, sometimes I just like to cruise, you know? Exactly, exactly. My, my mother, she used, to be, she used to be like, uh, you just be driving around. Where, you at? Where are you going? You're just burning gas. <laughs> Mama, this is my this is, this is is my stuff, okay? Leave me alone. Right. This is how I do <laughs> All right. Yeah. I feel that. I, I feel, feel that. that. I feel that. And we already know J. Cole jinx. is uh, your favorite artist. Oh, you messed up on yeah. the Legos? Did you mess no, up? No, no, I said Jinx. No, no, because you said, I feel that. And I said, I feel that. So, ah, punch buggy, no You owe me a soda. Punch buggy, no punch buggy. No, no, I already said you owe me a soda. What kind of soda do you like? Okay, you know, okay, I have something to say. Pineapple soda by Fanta is really good. But they had some mango soda, like, I don't know, it's probably like four, five, three years ago. I don't know, it was a while back. But they had some mango Fanta soda. That thing was so good. And I just never seen anything like it since. Yeah. Mango Fanta soda? All right. Man, well, Fanta, to... mango soda. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm going to definitely try to pine. I love pineapple. Like, I yeah, love pineapple pineapple juice, pineapples, pineapple soda. <laughs> I, we probably should not be promoting soda because. I know we're supposed to be athletes. Law number two, prioritizing mental physical health and soda is not going to help you do that. But sometimes yeah. you need a little buzz. You know, you need a little, <laughs> you, know, you need a little sizzle. You know, you need that little. Right, exactly. You need one of those. <laughs> I'd be like, look, man, look, come on. I'm going to run my suicides later. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, look, uh, Chad Ochocinco, he eat McDonald's all the time and work out. So He was cray cray though. Not crazy, but he was, he was different. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was different. But I've also seen that man literally eat McDonald's and, and work out right after that. Like, I've seen that That's at, crazy. Like, at, like, at the gym. I've seen them do that. <laughs> you know, so the mo most people, you know, we eat bad stuff, mm -hmm. but we don't work out or we don't remain active. So that's when the problem is right. happening. You know what I'm saying? So for him, yeah. he's eating those bad things, which is probably still not good, but he's still working out, remaining active, right? So... Because as a kid, when we played basketball after a basketball game, what we do? We went to McDonald's. <laughs> we went to Back. McDonald's. That, that was crazy. Yeah. That was but me the other just, night. You had you said what? That was me the other night. I had a scrimmage. It was late. And you I had just, a what? I had, had a, what? a scrimmage. Oh. oh yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So. Have anybody ever gave you the work? <laughs> You mean like cookies? I don't know what the work is, okay? The work is basically sauced her ass up. Or <laughs> not sauced her up. Yeah, no, she gave her the work. Anybody gave you the work? Yeah. <sighs> no, I can't <laughs> me, even lie. Me, me, just say me. Definitely not. Um, But I don't know. Okay, I do know. Like, so 
So many people probably know her. Many people probably don't. But my teammate from last year, Kiki Rice, okay. uh, she went. She went. She went to UCLA uh, for college. She was just like different. Like she was hard to guard. Like when I people always be like, "Who's the hardest person ever guard?" I'm like, "Girl, every day in practice, I had to guard Kiki. Like it was difficult." So she definitely sauced me up a couple times. Um, who else? A couple of my teammates have. See, they used to be doing me dirty for what reason? I don't know. Like out of Leah, who's on my team now, she sauced me up maybe maybe like once. Like I mean, it's like mostly me saucing her up. Um, <laughs> But I don't know. All right, okay. I'm trying to think. Okay. There, there's some people out there, but you know, I can't name all of them. I can't expose myself too much. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know what though? You know what I respect that you gave people their flowers. You know, you know. Yeah. You the number three athlete in the country, but you gave people their flowers. And the reason why you're the number three athlete in the country is because you went against those great athletes. You know. Right. That 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 competition allows you to you know be who you are today. Uh, and obviously all the other things that you faced that, you know, endure. I like that, man. Yeah. How, how your Legos coming along? How your Legos coming along? Bro, you just don't worry about it. It's, it's coming along. It's, I'm almost done. I don't think it's almost done because I'm letting you know right now I got a whole palace. You got a whole palace? I got a whole See, palace. you did too much before the time. See, you cheated. I, ah, did I really cheat? I mean, I'll probably still beat you, so. We'll I, I don't think you're going to beat me on this. I'm telling you that right now. The way the way it's looking right now, I got Hogwarts in my in my house right now. Look at that. Ooh. Really? Look at that. Bang. Look at that. Hold up. I got a whole down. Uh-oh. I messed up. Dang it. You want to know why you messed up? Why? Know why you messed up? Because you're nervous. Definitely not nervous. I think you're nervous. I'm not locked. Because. I'm not locked in. I'm, see, I'm locked in. I don't play basketball, but I'm locked in. Oh, shoot. I'm locked in. Look at this. Look at this. I, I, I just, I can't wait for the public to see these, this Lego, uh, it's real Picasso-like. Watch this. <laughs> Picasso. There you go. I may have to get my little cousin this for Christmas. Oh, shoot. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm feeling rushed right now. You say you're on the rush? I said I'm feeling rushed. Uh, see, you got to see. It's right now. It's fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. <laughs> it's fourth quarter right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think they're supposed to be fighting over this rat. This rat? Yeah, That's I think funny. they're supposed to be fighting over a rat. Right, here, we, here we go. What is going on? Here we go. Boom. Boom. See, it's because you're nervous. I told you about being nervous. <laughs> right there. Hold on, hold on. I told you about that. You gotta stop that. Can't be See now everybody know your weakness now. See? Now they I'm know. not nervous. Legos under pressure is her weakness. <laughs> That's the only weakness. That's a good weakness to have. Legos under pressure. Building a Lego under pressure has her weakness. There you go. Look, got me a little rat right there. They doing they doing the uh I'm basically done. I'm okay. basically done. That's because he cheated. I, did you I did like, cheat? you did like two thirds of the Lego set before this started. Well, so. well, you know what? I will be honest. I did do that. <laughs> I did do that. Let the truth set you free. I did do that. Exactly. You know, exactly. I, I had to do what I had to do. I had to, you know, it was too much. It was 256 pieces. It was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. Well, I'm going to wait for you now. I'm going to wait for you to be done. Whatever. Now we wait on I'm you. I'm almost done. Don't worry. Ah. Almost done. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look, don't get yeah. nervous now. The people are watching. I'm not nervous. Don't get nervous. You seem a little nervous. I'm not nervous. You seem like you're choking up right now. <laughs> don't get nervous. I'm definitely not. Huh? All right. So I'm not. Okay. 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 What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Moana. Moana? Yeah. Moana is actually a good movie. It's a great movie. I can watch it like five times a month. Hmm. Five yeah. times a month? Maybe like weekly. It's like three, four. Three times a week? No, no, no. Three times. Like I'm saying like weekly. Oh, I could weekly. probably watch it. So, like, like, at least once a week. See, see me, when I, when I do my self-care days, right, I don't have that many of them. Mm -hmm. I probably should have a lot of them. 
when when I had my self care days, this is what I do. Okay, so okay. I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean my room up, vacuum clean the mm -hmm. floor, take a nice hot shower, mm -hmm. do my little face routine. You feel what I'm saying? Put the little face mm -hmm. mask on. I probably put some candles on. You know what I'm saying? I started to like candles. Put some candles. Can right. After that, I make an apple pie. You can make apple pie? Not from scratch. Don't do me like that. <laughs> Not from scratch. So you, you heat up some apple pie is what you mean. I'm going to heat up the apple pie. and Well, technically, okay. I still got to make it because when I make the apple pie, I got to put the crumbs, the little the cinnamon crumbs on there like salt bay. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll okay. be like this. Boom, boom. Make it, you know, boom. Put that thing in the oven. Heat it up at the right temperature, right? And then... What's the right temperature? Uh, three seventy five. I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> you know, boom, do that thing. Put the put the you know by then wash the face off. Boom, put the put the mm -hmm. robe on. Watch a nice movie. I don't really play video games like that, but I may do okay. it. And okay. after the while, I turn it off because my head start hurting. <laughs> boom, make that thing up. Do, 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 mm -hmm. do. Eat my uh my uh apple pie with the ice cream. I'm killing it every time. I may good. I may go get a pedicure too. I may go get a pedicure. Whoa, a pedicure? That's that's a good day. That's a good day. I went to that's college my day. first time getting a pedicure. Me and one of my teammates, he was like, dog, it, it was at this uh training camp. Feet was uh -huh. killing us. Man, I went to go get a pedicure. Man, I felt like I was walking on clouds. I went to sleep <laughs> because I felt like I was walking on clouds. It was the best feeling ever, y'all. Best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Okay. What's uh, what's a place that you gotta go to when you go to Duke? I'm trying to think. It's a place that you definitely gotta go to. It's a couple places. Some holes in the wall, like restaurants and stuff. Dang, I can't remember. I know you be going to cookout. You been to cookout before, right? No. You never been to cookout? I know. I know. Yo, I actually wanted to try it. Is it good? Like, what do they even have there? Yo, the tray, they got everything. It's probably a bad reason why they got everything, but they got everything. You get a tray for $5. You get the double cheeseburger, the fresh fries, the chicken nuggets, the hush puppies be like $6. Really? Oh, it's it good. It's what? Off the late night? After a party? <laughs> it's lit. You straight. Really? You straight. I want to try it. I've never had it now. I've always wanted to. Hey, best thing in your life. Me, I get the uh, the Coke float. It's like vanilla ice cream. Ooh. Oh, uh -huh. you know, chef's kiss. Come on now. Come on now. I be having to get two of them things because they don't be putting enough Coke. Really? Yeah, they don't be putting enough, uh, <laughs> not Coke, whole pause. They don't be putting enough uh, soda in it. <laughs> got you, got you. For sure, for sure. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that. We, got, we, don't, we getting to know you beyond the game. Look at that. Is there anything else that we should know about you? <laughs> um... I don't know. We've been to a lot. I think the cookout kind of exposed me. But you said the cookout kind of exposed you. Yeah, <laughs> I never had it. <laughs> but um, no, I have nothing. All right, well, hey, we gonna make sure we gonna make sure we get you right. What's your what's your what's your Legos looking like? Cause I can't wait to show the people. What I, I know. I'm I'm like it's a little hard right now. I'm coming though. Oh, you under pressure? Cause you know you only got like fifteen minutes for real, for real. Not even. 15. I know. No, I'm gonna be done in fifteen minutes. You really got like, like five. You really got like five minutes left. I, I, I'm gonna get it done. Just, mm. I just need a little minute. <laughs> mm. Okay, okay. What's one person that you would love to meet? Uh, Adele. Adele? Come on, let's go ahead and sing an Adele song right now, blow for blow. Oh, let's shoot. get it. What you want to sing? Let's sing hello. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here, hold on. I need, I need the song. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Hold on. <laughs> We do not. No one can record this. Thing. We, the, we do not own the rights to this music. All right, here we go. Uh, maybe it's I do not. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I do not own. How you do that? Okay, pin that. Okay, here we go. Ready? Pin that comment. All right, you ready? We about to sing off. Have a sing along. <clears throat> or unless okay. you want to do an acapella. You want to do an acapella? I don't think I can. Uh, 
fell off. No, no. <laughs> we the dud will be like over our voices. All right, here we go. I, we about to sing. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm about to expose myself. This is wow. This is a big wow. All right. Hello, it's me. <laughs> Where's the music? All right, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hold on. All right. All right. You ready? Fifteen seconds. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Gotta sing the song. I've, I've been wondering. Go, go. To go over. To go over. Yeah. Everything. 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 Yeah, there we go. They say the time's supposed to heal you. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Sing it. Hold, hold, I can't. Hold I can't. Hello. Can you hear me? I need to go to an Adele concert. For real, for real. You said you, you what? I said I need to go to an Adele concert. All right, hold on. We gotta get the we gotta get the part. We gotta get the part. Hold on. What part? All right, here we go. Uh, you ready? I don't right, have go. the vocals Let's for that. Here we go. Here we go. Send Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here. We go. Sing that. You guys singing now, Daddy? Come on. Hello. <laughs> You got it. I don't even need to see it. Come on now. What? Come on, sing that part. Come on. Break, I can't. Break. I can't. You nervous. The bell like that. You was nervous. You was nervous. You was nervous. You was nervous. You ain't get a people with these Legos. Huh? I'm really happy to see Legos. We still are done. Oh, no. well, how far are you with the Legos? What's up? Okay. This is the body. We just missing the head and his other shooting arm. That ain't even a man. That ain't even. That's just iron, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was actually funny. That was funny. Come on now. What, what you got that's, going on? This is hard. Man. All right, here we go. All right, let's get it. Cause I'm ready. I'm ready to show these people what I got going on right now. So why why you wanted me to deal? Tell me. You said what? Why why did you why did you pick a deal? As the person that you want to meet, um, no, she's just cool. Like, I listened to her a very long time ago. Like, all her music, I know most of the lyrics. Um, she just seems like a cool person. Like, that's like it wouldn't be like awkward if I met her. Like, she right. like make it like a like a smooth conversation, and she's funny. So, okay, and she's all right, just that girl, you know, like, so. Okay, I like that. 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 I love. Yep. I found out about Adele when she created, uh, when she made Hometown Glory. Uh huh. Man, man oh man. Put me in tears. <laughs> Put me in tears. Really? I, I was boohooing for a week. <laughs> I had it on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> She's like that. Yeah, okay, she look, we almost done. Beautiful singer. Beautiful singer. Are you almost done? I don't think you're almost done for real, because I'm telling you right now, what I got right now, what I'm about to show the mm -hmm. people right now, I'm going to kill the game. Probably not, but, I mean, we'll see. All right, we're about to we'll see. see. Watch this. Watch this. Don't ever doubt the... Don't, doubt you, just, don't you just have a book? Huh? Don't you just have a book? See, 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 you think about the wrong things right now. I'm asking. Right, well, you about to see. You let me know right. when you ready. Okay, okay. What what is this? See, okay, that's a little much. See, you nervous? Where's his head at? Oh, I know where his head. How you about. lose the head? That's like the most important piece. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Put in his. his you gotta lay it down on the ground. You gotta lay it down on the ground. Lay it down on the ground. Well, not on the ground, but like on the table. You got you know. Well, mine is a just a body. Oh, so. yours just a body? Oh, I'm I'm definitely being you. You lost. You lost. Definitely not. Hold on. Let me get this together. Right, don't you worry. Sit tight. All right. Oh, see, his legs got to go in there. See, I didn't even know that. Okay, there we go. I'm ready. Are right, you ready? You can go first. I'm going to go first? No, you got to go yeah. first. No, you go first because you, you were dummy for me. Nah, so. ladies go first. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, guys, here we go. Is my Lego set that I made this evening. It's Iron Man. Okay. What do you look like? Okay, I like that. Okay, I like yeah. that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So shout out to Lego. Shout out to Lego. <laughs> now I'm, about to, I'm about to go ahead and show y'all. I'm gonna show the people what I've been working on. Here we go. You ready? All right. Yeah. Holla from the other side. <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 look. Look at my man. School. That's how he's tough. He like, hey yo, what's up, cuz? Stop from the school, bro. <laughs> hey yo, is that a rat? Yeah, that's a rat, bro. I'm about to go ahead and have to beat that rat. But, what is that? Boom. All right, there you go. Oh, no. Nah. Let me pick the book back up. Let me pick the book back up. There you go. Boom. There you go. Bang. No way and then look at the teacher. The teacher like this. Hey, y'all need to settle down. Y'all tripping. I know it's a rat, but y'all tripping. Boom. They got two seats right here they ain't never used. But look at the treasure chest, though. <laughs> look at the treasure chest, y'all. Look at the treasure chest. Watch this. Ooh, we got goodies in that thing. Mm -hmm. I should have put real. The people that are just doing it live, they're probably gonna be so confused. They're gonna be confused. Like y'all was building Legos. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's like y'all was building judging. Legos the whole show. Yes, we were building exactly. Legos. Oh. <laughs> I think you lost a piece. We was building Legos on the show. Go ahead, show your box. I'm gonna show my box. Go ahead, hmm. go ahead. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we appreciate you so much, Jaden. Man, we got to get to know you a lot. Um, obviously, the Lego thing is very interesting. I never met a uh, she said I picked Jaden as she should. See, she knows, she does. Had, haven't met an athlete that you know loves to build Legos, and this was a really interesting conversation while being able to do it. Big ups to you. Um, we wish you well on all of your future endeavors. We'll be tuning in, obviously, we'll be connecting even more. Um, is there anything that you want to say to the people, to us, anything? No, I appreciate you for having me for sure. This is one of probably my favorite interviews. So, yeah. I appreciate that a lot, man. It really means a lot. And uh, we can't wait to see you ball. I'm going to definitely come to one of the games. And then your pro league games, I already know you're going to make it. So, you know, I'm already <laughs> I appreciate it. for you. Thank you. Uh, well, that's the never episode of Off Bounds with Jaden Donovan. Do commit, all that good stuff. Lego builder, yep. lover. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, man, can't wait for y'all to tune into the next show. So we appreciate y'all. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Talk to you soon. All right.